I woke up today, went on Facebook and saw this caricature. Roughly translated, it says, Our terrorism expert is going to talk about a traffic jam on the A7. At first I thought this was referencing the München attack, which I talked about a few days ago. Although I dislike the prevalent attitude of acting as if the people who worry about terrorism are paranoid, I thought fair enough, because there seems to be no Islamist motivation to the München attack after all. And I think that we need to be careful not to categorize all sorts of murders as terrorism immediately only because the perpetrator comes from a Muslim family. If something is a terrorist attack, call it that. If it isn't, don't. But then I went on site online in order to check today's news and understood that the caricature was referencing another story. A 27-year-old Syrian refugee who had been denied asylum a year ago and attempted suicide twice since then, went to a music festival with more than 2,000 visitors in Ansbach. He was stopped at the entrance because he didn't have a ticket, so he blew himself up in front of the entrance, wounding 12. Official sources say they don't know the motivation behind the attack yet, if the suspect did or did not intend to take other people with him. Before you go off on this because it's so obvious, let me tell you that this is standard procedure. The police usually go out of their way not to speculate and prefer to wait a few hours. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It doesn't mean that the problem is not taken seriously, it means that they are doing their job. However, the attacker's modus operandi is all too familiar. His backpack contained enough explosives to kill more people and include a shrapnel. If he had managed to get into the crowd, things would look much more grim. He didn't, luckily. Bavaria's interior minister, Joachim Herrmann, is getting some heat from left-leaning journalists right now because he has already said that we need to tackle the problems connected to asylum abuse. And he made the terrible mistake of mentioning the possibility that this is an Islamist attack. The reason why he's being criticized is the same as always. Oh, if you don't know that this is in fact an Islamist attack, why would you even mention the possibility? As if it makes any difference that we are not absolutely sure whether or not this guy was an Islamist. The issue at hand is that it turns out that a significant number of refugees do shit like this. For personal reasons in one case, for ideological reasons in another. I've seen the absolute numbers argument so often these past days. The likelihood of dying in a car crash on the way to Nice is much higher than dying in a terrorist attack in Nice. Or the likelihood of choking on your food is so much higher than the likelihood of being killed by a terrorist is. Guess what? The likelihood that a refugee drowns in the Mediterranean is much higher than the likelihood of him dying because of arson in a refugee shelter. Does that mean we shouldn't address the problem of people burning down refugee shelters in Germany? Does that mean we shouldn't do anything about it? For fuck's sake, you can play down everything by using this excuse for an argument. Why are you worried about cancer? Much more people die of death each year. Let me show you an op-ed that was published today in the left-leaning Tuts newspaper. Silence is gold. According to everything we know so far, while Hermann is saying Islamist suicide attack, there isn't any concrete evidence to suggest this statement is true. If we look at it in a sober way, we can only say a man whose motives are totally unclear detonated a bomb in Ansbach. Killing himself and attempting to get into a crowd of people. Who does that sort of thing exclusively in the 21st century? Joachim Hermann is entitled to have personal opinions. However, he isn't a random bystander interviewed by the press. He is Bavaria's interior minister commenting on current investigations. He has to know that his speculation is headline fodder, which may needlessly aggravate a heated, panicky mood. So far, so cowardly. However, after this, the author goes on to explain exactly and accurately what the current situation is. The recent surge in refugees going on rampages, why Hermann thinks asylum laws have to be toughened, etc. The only thing the author has an actual issue with is that Hermann said he couldn't exclude the possibility that this attack was ISIS related, that he mentioned ISIS, that he even mentioned ISIS at a point where the evidence hints at that possibility, but he doesn't know for sure. You know what I think about this op-ed? It's great. We have come to a point 
where even an op-ed in one of Germany's most politically correct leftist newspapers doesn't deny the problem we are facing anymore. They virtue signal for two paragraphs, but after that they have to talk about the issue. Even they have to mention that this is the third story about a refugee committing an unusually brutal crime within one week. Their narrative that there is no reason to worry about uncontrolled immigration has already crumbled and they know it. Last Monday we had the ISIS promoted Würzburg attack where an allegedly seven year old Afghan attacked people with an axe and a knife injuring five. Yesterday a 21 year old Syrian refugee killed a pregnant woman with a machete and injured two bystanders before a witness drove him down with his car. The hero in the story is probably a Muslim himself by the way given the fact that his father owns a kebab restaurant. And that same day a few hours later Another Syrian refugee blows himself up and would have killed a lot of people if he had gotten where he wanted. I don't mind that some people focus more on psychological issues and other people focus more on asylum laws because both are contributions to solving the problem. But up until now the goal of too many journalists and politicians who pointed out the psychology or social struggles of an attacker was to shut down the debate on immigration. This is changing and more of them allow themselves to at least talk about the problems. This is not only what Germany needs right now in order to prevent attacks like this, it's what Germany needs in order not to hand the entire conversation over to extreme right wingers. Furthermore, this opens the possibility that established parties may at least listen to the concerns voiced by the right and those who turn to them out of despair rather than demonizing them. And Joachim Herrmann actually hit the nail on the head. He stated that the security of the people has to be protected. He said that those who seek shelter in Germany have to respect both German order as well as German people. And he said that the Ansbach attack worries people and needs to be cleared up in order to restore the people's trust in the state. Especially the last statement is incredibly important. Everything else is the death of democracy. Everything else increases the possibility of fear of Islamism turning into pogroms against Muslims. I'm the Thoughtful Contrarian. Feel free to rate, comment, share and subscribe.